This video is sponsored by Walsworth. Hey there, I'm Kara Plichinich, and today we're going to take a look at working with gradients in InDesign. Before getting started with gradients, I personally like to make sure I have the colors available that I plan to use in my gradient. You can add new colors on the fly, but for my brain, I really like having my colors ready, but I'll show you both ways. To get started, let's say we want to create and apply a gradient to this object right here. So I've got the object selected, and now I can either come and select the gradient swatch tool on the toolbar, or I'm just gonna press G for the gradient tool, and then click to apply the gradient to the object. So here we can see the object is bigger than the document, so it's going, the gradient is going all the way from this edge of the object to this edge. But we can change the way that the gradient works as well as how it's positioned by just clicking and dragging. So let's imagine that we want the gradient to go from top to bottom or bottom to top. With the gradient tool selected, I can come down here and just click and drag upwards. And if I hold shift, I can constrain it to 45 degree increments. And then when I let go, it's going to redraw the gradient. So we've got black on the bottom and transitioning to white at the top. The length of the line that we draw determines the size of the gradient. So if I want a very short, small gradient, I can just click and drag short distance. And if I want a more spread out gradient, then I draw a longer line. You can also draw from outside the object. Maybe I want a gradient to go from here to here. So the length and direction of the line that you draw here makes a big difference. Okay, but what if we want something other than this black and white gradient, right? Then we'll need to edit the gradient. One way to work is to open up your gradient panel by either double clicking on the gradient swatch tool, or you can go to the window menu and choose color gradient. It might look like this. If you wanna see the additional options, you need to come to the little burger menu and choose show options. So here is where we can change this from a linear gradient to a radial gradient. We can adjust the location of the color stops, drag them around. We can adjust the midpoint by clicking and dragging or by typing in numbers right here. I'm gonna set this back to a linear gradient. And what I want to do is actually replace the colors and this makes me bonkers in this workspace. So this is where it's helpful if you already have the color swatches that you wanna use in your swatches panel. Then you can just drag and replace them. But you see this is what happens. You end up duplicating them. It's really tricky to actually replace them. So it's possible, but I can almost never do it. So this is what, this is what ends up happening. So once I have this on here, then if I don't want this black stop, I just click and drag it away to pluck it off of there. Let's see, let's try to replace the white one here. So I'll click to select it, and then I'm gonna grab this color, and there, I actually got it. So that is one way to work. If we wanna add another color stop here, I can just drag from the swatches panel onto the bar and there we go. Now we have a three color gradient. Once you have something you like here, you can add it to your swatches by going back to that swatch panel menu and choosing new gradient swatch. And here we can give it a name like happy dance. And if we click add, we'll see that InDesign adds it to our swatches panel. This is also a spot where you can much more easily edit your gradient. So I'm gonna click done for now, and I'm gonna close this gradient panel. We got that again from double clicking the gradient tool or coming up to the window menu and choosing color gradient. Another easier way to work is from the swatches panel by just coming to the burger menu and choosing new gradient swatch. So here we could give it a name. Let's make another one. We'll call it cotton candy. 
want it to be linear and let's just pull this one off. So we've got a two color gradient. So here we're seeing the gradient, but it's not applied yet. So we'd have to click add to add it to our swatches panel and then we can see it here and continue to edit it as needed. The nice thing about this is you can add the colors from your swatches panel, or if we come in here and choose RGB, for example, we can actually dial in the colors while we're in this space, which is pretty nice. I'll go ahead and click OK. But I'm gonna go back to the Happy Dance gradient because I wanna show you this other thing that is so cool, this little trick. So let's say we wanna add a few more bobbles here on our little whatever this is postcard that I'm making and now I can select let's say these two bobbles and I could click to apply the same gradient or I could also press I for the eyedropper and then I can sample the gradient from this shape and that's nice now they all have the same gradient but also super mm, boring so let's do another trick, which is I'm gonna select all three shapes and then I'll press G for my gradient tool. I've got my gradient swatch selected and check this out with all three selected and my gradient tool active. I'm just going to click over here on the left and drag, I'm gonna hold shift so I get a perfectly horizontal line. And when I let go, isn't that gorgeous? So now we've taken one gradient and we've applied it across three shapes. But of course, we can also add gradients to text. So now in the swatches panel or up in the control panel, I want to make sure that I'm targeting not the bounding box, but the actual text. So I'm going to click to select that and then I'll just click and apply the gradient swatch. And again, if I want to change the gradient, maybe make it a radial gradient, I can double click on my gradient swatch tool to pull up my gradient swatch panel. And maybe I wanna change this to radial. And I can also redraw it. So I could make it radial just like from here out. But I'm gonna switch this back to linear and I wanna show you something else that's pretty cool. I can also grab the type tool and I could just highlight the word gradients, grab my gradient tool, and maybe I just want the gradient like this. And now if I click out of there, we can see the gradient's been applied here and then maybe I want to apply it again right here. So I'm gonna highlight this with my type tool grab my gradient tool and again i'm going to click and drag like that and now when i click out of there i've got one text frame but i've applied the gradient to these two different words individually so i hope this shows you some ways to work with gradients have fun with gradients and really level up your gradient skills Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Kara Plichnich, and until next time, happy InDesigning. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.